Hey guys, so several months ago I got these area leather work boots for about $150. I was hesitant to do it just because it costed $150. And I'm the kind of guy who usually pays 10 or $20 to buy a pair of sneakers at Walmart. I must say I am extremely pleased with my decision uh, to get these. There's some things that I love about this boot. There are a couple things where I feel like there could be room for improvement, but overall I do really love the boot. So the first thing that I really like about the boot is how easy it is to take on and off. These are size 10 and a half EE. I usually wear size 11 or 12 tennis shoes and these fit on very loosely. I wouldn't get any size bigger than 10 and a half EE. In fact, if I were to do it over again, I'd probably get a smaller size. I've heard that leather boots, they kind of get broken in and uh, people recommend getting them a little bit tighter than you would think. I really love how basically all of the exterior of the boot is like full grain, high quality leather. Um, especially on this bottom part, it's really like thick kind of leather and it feels like it's quite reinforced. So much so that I can go and clear blackberry bushes or you know walk where there's thorns or prickers or even little snakes in the in the brush and I, I don't feel like I'm vulnerable to getting a thorn in my foot or getting a snake. I don't know if these are snake proof but they feel like they could be and I definitely feel a whole lot better clearing in the woods with these than I would with a pair of shoes. Another thing I really like about these boots is they seem like they're waterproof. At least from what I can tell, water doesn't seem to harm them. You know, you can get them super muddy, you can spray them off all the way, and the soles still hold up great. There are three things that could be potential cons of this kind of boot. If you are buying leather boots online for the first time and you've never tried on leather boots before, if you are a size 12 with your shoe, you are not a size 12 with your boot, you're probably smaller. Um, in my case, you're probably like a 10 or 10 and a half. So one thing that surprised me about the boot is that how easily leather can get cut. So obviously this leather, it's quite sturdy and under normal conditions, it will hold up really great, probably for years to come. But if you look here, you can see a gash in the leather uh, on the toe here. And this I think was happening when I was carrying a square shovel and I just accidentally kicked the corner of the square shovel when I was carrying it. And I think that's what created this gash here in the leather. I think this is totally still waterproof here. Um, I haven't felt water come in at all and it feels like there's reinforced leather here. Like maybe there's a couple layers of leather. It's so strong here that I can't even push down the toe sideways or vertically. But it's just something to keep in mind. If you're a city slicker like me and this is your first pair of leather work boots, just be aware that leather is super strong but if you have something really sharp hit it, like an ax or a knife or sharp edge of a shovel, it could scuff or cut the leather. Overall, I do think the stitching on the boot is of good quality. But if you look down here, you can see a few imperfections in the stitching, like right here. You can see just a little bit of stitching imperfection. I mean, I'm being really nitpicky, right? Like I, I do love these boots. And I'm so grateful I got them. And I've actually been tempted to buy these, like to buy more than one pair for myself and buy like pairs for family members because I just think it's so useful having this. The inside of the shoe, it's uh, lined with some sort of fabric. You know, it's not leather, but it's some sort of fabric. Uh, at first I looked at this, I thought that fabric wasn't very durable maybe, but uh, you know, I've put my feet in and out and I've worn these over the last several months off and on and um, I've actually been quite pleased with how well it's held up. It seems like they have reinforcement around the heels here, on the inside and out so it doesn't get torn up. They have these handy dandy leather loops here you can use to help pull on your shoe or or I guess put you know your toolbox here. Or, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Here's a look at the, the sole. It's got great traction and I do think the design is, is such a way that it makes it pretty easy to hose off and clean after it gets really, really muddy. These are not the kind of boots I would recommend for hiking. They offer a lot of protection, but they are kind of clunky uh, in that they're just, there's a lot of leather, a lot of rubber that makes up the soles, a lot of leather. It's very well built, very sturdy, but it can be kind of, kind of heavy. Instead of just straight up buying your boots online, you can do that, especially if you know what size you are for a boot, but you might consider first going into a boot shop and t trying on a bunch of boots, finding a brand that you like, finding what size fits you well. 
um, you know, kind of snug, not too roomy, not too tight. And then you can go online to order it. And sometimes you might be able to find the same boot on Amazon for, you know, maybe 20 or $30 cheaper than what you might get at a retail store. So overall, I would highly recommend these boots. I would just um, encourage you not to kick anything sharp with the boots when you get them. It might pay to try them on before you buy them. Overall, I'm super duper grateful I got these boots. I've, I've used them a lot. And if these ever wear out in five or 10 years from now or whatever, I'm sure I'm gonna wanna buy another pair of boots. And Ariat, I've been very impressed with the quality. And uh, I don't think the price is, you know, atrocious given the quality. Um, I feel like one pair of these boots could probably last as much as, you know, 10 pairs or 15 or 30 pairs of those $10 tennis shoes I get at Walmart. You know, if you're working in the mud and working in the brush. It really protects your feet. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.